More and more games have started to jump on the latest trend, the always online experience involving guns, gear and grinding. One of the latest games to do so may be the most ambitious yet. This is a small introduction to The Division. Announced by publisher Ubisoft at E3 2013, Tom Clancy's The Division was developed by Massive Entertainment and released on the 8th of March 2016 for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. Set in current day New York, a severe pandemic has broken out as a virus, dubbed the Green Poison, has spread throughout the city, killing thousands. Civilization is broken down as escaped inmates and military factions loot the dead and kill survivors. You are an agent of the Division, a group of sleeper agents set up by the government for when all else fails, tasked to save the city. You must find a way to stop the outbreak while investigating its spread and helping those in need along the way. Thank you for your generosity. The Division is an open world tactical shooter with its core gameplay consisting of a third person cover system and rechargeable abilities, not unlike the Mass Effect series. The game is also an online only experience sitting in the MMO RPG genre, drawing parallels to the console shooter Destiny. Your character will gain experience and levels by completing activities within the game, and thus making him or her more powerful. There is also a random loot system for weapons and gear, similar to the Diablo franchise, further adding to the RPG aspect. You can play solo or join up with up to three other players to complete any of the activities within the game, which include campaign story missions, side missions and encounters, the player vs player enabled dark zone, or simply free roaming the city. The combat of the division is centered around attacking enemies from behind cover and moving between different cover positions in order to flank your opponents. When in cover, you can vault over low cover or even quickly move to another position. There is also the ability to hip fire from behind cover or perform a combat role to avoid enemy grenades. You are able to equip two main weapons and a weaker sidearm which has unlimited ammo. You also have access to a number of grenade types which each have their own effect. Lastly, there are a number of consumables which can temporarily improve your combat effectiveness including a medkit for quick healing. The Division follows the common RPG design trope of the Power Triangle, meaning your character has three main stats from which to build your character around. Firearms determines the amount of damage your equipped weapons deal. Each point in firearms increases your base weapon damage by a straight 1%. Stamina determines the number of hit points your character has. Each point in stamina increases your base health by 30 hit points. Electronics determines the power of your skills. Each point in electronics increases your skill power by 10 points. Skill power affects the potency of your skills, each which benefit in different ways from skill power. Each piece of your equipped gear will increase one of your main stats, except holsters, which will increase two or three. So in order to find the right balance for your playstyle, choose carefully which pieces you equip. Gear and weapons also increase some of the many secondary stats, such as specific weapon damage or critical hit chance so no two pieces of gear are the same. The Division allows you to equip two normal skills and one signature skill once unlocked at the base of operations. Each skill provides you and sometimes your allies with a beneficial temporary boost, such as an increased damage or a deployable turret. Once used, you must wait for the skill to cool down before activating it again. Signature skills provide a much more powerful boost, but have a much longer cooldown. Each normal skill also has mods available which add extra functionality to them once unlocked at the base of operations. Talents are a set of passive benefits which you may select up to 4 from once fully upgraded. They provide a range of bonuses which suit different playstyles. Finally, perks are another set of benefits which are automatically applied to your character once unlocked. All perks you unlock are applied to your character as there is no cap. The Division has 6 different gear slots and 3 weapon slots. As stated previously, each piece of gear will provide an increase to one of the main stats as well as other secondary bonuses. There are 5 rarity tiers. Worn is indicated by the colour white, 
Standard by Green, Specialized Blue, Superior Purple, and High End Yellow. Rarer and higher level gear will have higher stats. Rarer weapons will also have certain talents which can give a further bonus to the weapon if you meet a certain main stat requirement. Weapons have several modification slots which can increase its statistics such as magazine size or accuracy. Gear may have one or more slots for gear mods which also provide benefits to your character. Equipment is obtainable by purchasing from vendors, completing missions, crafting, or enemy drops. Each of these is randomly generated, which means it will be for a random slot and have random bonuses. There are also a number of cosmetic items which are equipped separately from your normal gear and change the clothes of your character without affecting your stats. The base of operations is a safe area where you are able to spend resources obtained via missions to unlock perks, talents and skills. You can also craft items you have blueprints for, restock on your supplies, or browse the stock of the many available vendors. Some stations need to be unlocked, such as the Advanced Weapons Vendor or the Recalibration Station. There are also other safe areas throughout the city called safe houses, where you can restock or browse a single vendor's stock. Campaign missions and encounters reward you with resources to spend on unlocks at the base of operations. Each of the main campaign missions can be done on normal or hard difficulty, as well as a challenging difficulty being unlocked for some missions at the maximum player level of 30. Joining up with other agents makes missions easier as you are able to revive your team members if they go down or die. At maximum level, you also unlock the ability to complete daily missions which reward you with Phoenix Credits, an endgame currency used to purchase the rarest items in the game. The Dark Zone is a large area in the center of the map where player vs player combat is enabled. Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Killing enemies in the Dark Zone will only give you experience towards your Dark Zone rank, which allows you to buy items from Dark Zone vendors at higher levels with Dark Zone currency. Loot is not obtained via the normal way in the Dark Zone, as each dropped item is contaminated and must be extracted by helicopter before use. There are several extraction areas within the Dark Zone, where you can signal a helicopter if you have some loot to extract. When this is done, other players and NPCs in the area are notified. You will have up to two minutes to defend yourself against any NPCs or players which arrive before you can attach your contaminated loot to the helicopter. If you die in the Dark Zone, you will drop your contaminated loot as well as some Dark Zone experience and currency. Other players will be able to pick up your dropped loot. If you initiate an attack on a non-hostile player, you will become a rogue agent and a bounty will be placed on you until you are killed or a timer runs out. If you die as a rogue, you will lose an increased amount of experience and currency. The more players you kill, the higher your bounty will become until you reach the manhunt rank and the entire server is notified of your rank. At this point, the reward on your bounty is much higher as is your rogue timer and punishment for dying. The Division is a complex game with many in-depth mechanics which this video has really only scratched the surface of. Hopefully this has provided you with enough information to get started with the game and start enjoying all the game has to offer. Thanks for watching.